Mike, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever I get stopped by the cops, I'm on the hood, and I try to joke with them to get out of a ticket. So I show them a package of salt, and I go, you know, if I ran up to somebody and threw this at them, I'd be charging them with assault. And a AAA battery, that's a song battery. I see a cop in a car with no sign or lights. I go, hey, is your name Mark? He goes, no. I go, good, this is supposed to be an unmarked car. They always say, do you have any drugs on you? And I'm like, well, did you say do I have any drugs? Well, yeah, but I don't have them on me. <laughs> you should have been here about five minutes ago. Lots of good drugs. I mean, you just miss Maybe you should have only got a half a dozen. <laughs> so... Then, then I'm in jail, and I go up to this guard, and I go, hey, guy, what time you got? He goes, you got a date? You going to movies? You don't need to know the time. It's like, oh, you want to be a smarty ass, huh? Okay, my turn. <laughs> so I wait till the next day. I go, hey, guy, he wore his watch upside down so he can't see it. Go, hey, hey, guy, what would you do to your wrist? He goes, what? I go, looks like you 1245 yourself. Your turn. <laughs> When I see somebody from, with plates from Oregon, I go, you know, if you donated a kid in your liver, you'd be an organ donor. I was working with a guy one day, I found an empty roll of tape, I threw it right at his head, he went like this, I go, hey, you know what kind of tape that was? That was duct tape. <laughs> I seen these two nuns, I went up to them and I said, hey, do you know on the multiple choice question it says none of the above? I, whenever, whenever, uh, well, all right, that's enough of that one. <laughs> when, I, when I go to 7-Eleven, they got a coffee called Brazilian Bold. So I tell them, you know, if you poured it on a great big rock, it would be bolder. I want to put some of these jokes on a plate. Some of the ones that make you think, is, I'm going to call it a contemplate. This dude, this guy, my friend of mine, he had a, such a hot chick, she was so hot. And he comes out, of sh uh, comes out one day with this shirt, and it had a picture of a motorcycle, and it said, built to ride. I was like, dude, she should wear that shirt. <laughs> we're at uh, Home Depot, and uh, we have seen this truck, it said, rent me hourly. I was like, dude, you should get her that shirt. He's like, you would really do that? I was like, dude, I'd empty my bank account. I'd be broke, but I'd be smiling. <laughs> I seen this one young girl's shirt. She was like 14. Her shirt said, if you think I'm a bitch, you should meet my mom. <laughs> uh, I was out in front of the store. And I saw this dude's name tag, it said Sam, and he was putting ham and cheese on bread. And I go, hey, is that a sandwich? <laughs> I'm going down the strip one day and there's this uh, big, huge girl drinking with her friends. And she fell down, but she wasn't hurt. She was laughing, they were laughing. So I was like, are you okay? Can you get up? You want me to call a forklift? <laughs> My one buddy had a big chick like that, and she pulled up in a car, beat the horn. I said, "Dar, she blows." <laughs> I should do my uh, blonde joke. There was these three blondes walking down the street, and one of them said, "Ooh, look at that dog with only one eye," and the other two went, "Okay." <laughs> or what's the favorite thing that a blonde likes to wear on her ears? What? Her ankles. <laughs> That's about it. I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to cut it short. It's my first time. Thank you, guys. Great set. Great set, Mike.